Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles. And I found these cute Halloween simple but wow treats on Facebook. But how would you package them to give them away? Come and see how I did it. Now you can see it even better. Isn't this adorable? We're just talking fudge stripe cookies, Hershey Kisses, and some frosting. But you know what? Uh, I'll have a link underneath the video for a downloadable PDF so you can print that off and add it to your ideas because, you know, we think we're going to remember everything, and of course we don't. But now we need to be able to package this. And I thought and thought and thought, and then, oh, look what I have. How perfect. These are the decorative window boxes from the 2013 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. The, oh, I've got my window. We can see it. It's going to be packaged. It's going to be so cute. So, But of course, we have to decorate it. And so we'll start with one flat. And I'm going to use the Best of Halloween stamp set. Just some really cute stamps in here. So I like that border. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take our pumpkin pie and this border stamp and we're going to decorate up our sides. We're going to ink this up just so quick and easy and you'll love those treats because they're quick and easy too but they are a wow. People are going to think you're so clever especially when you have adorable packaging to give them. Okay so there we go. Look at that. How cute, how cute, how cute. <laughs> And so then we just need to go ahead and put it together. And I figured out the trick. Not that it's all that tricky. It's just I don't, my mind doesn't think like this. We're going to start with this flap. Fold that in. Fold in these two sides. Fashion that on top. I got a little vigorous. <laughs> and then tuck that under. See how easy that is? So there you go. So now we need to fill it and I've got a little trick for that too. And of course we've got to decorate it a little bit more. The decorative window gift box, they are rated food safe but we want to make this even more appealing. And so we've got a white tea lace doily in the bottom and then we have our cookie. Okay, so, but for me, I'm not done here. Because that's going to slide around and it's just, it's not as up close to the top as I'd want it to be able to show it off. So, this is a very easy fix and just gives them even more of a treat and how inexpensive of a, of a fill. We're just going to take some candy corn and put in here. Now we've got a nice bed that coordinates, because we love coordination. We're our Stampin' Up! ladies. We're used to everything coordinating, our cardstock and our ink and our ribbon and designer papers and then there you go and look it's right to the pop top so it's not sliding around so it's not like I'm going to have to carry it oh so carefully it's just not sliding all around so that's how we're going to fill it just making it a little bit more special and of course it just absolutely needs a tag well of course I had to use the witch's hat from the best of Halloween stamps that I mean how perfect is that? So I searched for a punch or a framelit that would fit my hat and this turned out to be perfect. This one from the Chalk Talk Framelits and I went ahead and die cut that in pumpkin pie. Just looking so lovely it's coordinating with my box and uh, and so, and I didn't want to just stamp on there. I had something a little bit more special in mind. So we're going to go ahead and stamp that on some Whisper White cardstock. And you know what? I bet up till now, you may not have even thought about it. This hat isn't the traditional black. For fall, she has brought out her fall colors of brown and pumpkin pie because we've got all that chocolate. <laughs> and so in order to do that, to keep with the look of my hat, I'm going to use my mini Marvelous Markers. Love having all 48 of the Stampin' Up! Markers at my fingertips. The 38 core colors and the 10 in colors. Oh, Pops Pumpkin Pie from my Brights collection. And then Early Espresso. And so quickly and easily we can color. When I do, I'm going to use the brush in. I like to always start with the lightest color. Because I don't, if I, because I don't want to accidentally touch where I've colored with a using a light color in a dark one 
and compromising my marker. So I just start with the lightest and then I fill in. And so here we go. Look how quick and easy this is to do, but it just patch it, uh, packs a punch when you can have more than one color. And of course, you can see, you can do that with the many Marvelous Markers. Okay. Just color, color, color. I keep going over because I just want really great coverage, but I want to make sure I got that edge right there. Okay. And so now we're going to huff because while I was talking, the ink was drying. That revitalizes the ink. And then we stamp. And oh, look how great this hat is. So I'm using my paper snips. Love, love, love my paper snips. I can just do this beautiful uh, cutting with it. I can get into areas so easily. And I knew you'd want to sit there and watch me do this. Oh, you didn't. Well, I have good news then. By the magic of television, <laughs> I have one all cut out for you. And look how cute that fits on here. But this wasn't enough. It just needed something more. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the trick-or-treat stamp again from the best of Halloween. I know you're loving this set now, aren't you? And we've got the early espresso stamp pad. And we're just going to quickly and easily... Here we go. Stamp an adorable, adorable background. All right, now look when you see this on here. Isn't that cute? Ha ha ha. And so with some Stampin' Dimensionals behind there, we're ready to attach it to our box. Okay, so now we have our decorated box with our candy witch's hat showing through and our decorative tag. But how are we going to attach this? I just thought of so many different things that we could do, and then it suddenly came to me, oh, washi tape. We have the Witch's Brew washi tape in the 2013 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. And it just couldn't get any easier than this. Just the trendy washi tape. And we'll attach that. And then it was popping up at the end, so I thought, no big deal. We'll just get another piece. Just so fun and easy to use. And we're on purpose leaving that raggedy. I know, I'm doing it. <laughs> and there we have. So we've got a cute tag. We can still see our gift inside. <laughs> so all the products that I use today, except for the candy and the cookies and the frosting, are available in my online store. And I'll have a link under the video to take you to my online store so you can order anything you need. And of course, I'm going to have that link underneath the video so you can go download that PDF and print it off or save it so you won't forget this adorable, adorable Halloween idea. <laughs> so go grab the things that you need. You've got time to get these done. You'll have a whole bunch of these done in no time and people just think you are so, so clever. <laughs> I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.